you about impressions. Do you know Philippine cocoa dice? Come again. Do you know Philippine cocoa dice? Cocoa Philipp dice. Yes. Uh huh. Have you ever seen that before? Before it now. In a TV. Do you know Philippine cocoa dice? No. Cocoa dice. Uh huh. Cocoa dice. You have seen that before, yeah? Right? Don't know. On the television only. Only at the television. Philippine crocodile is one of 23 species of crocodile in the world and it's the most endangered species of crocodile uh, today. Um, there are less than 250 non-hatchling individuals left in the wild. Um, it's a small crocodile up to 2.5 to 3 meters maximum size um, and it's endemic to the Philippines. It only lives in the Philippines and nowhere else in the world. The Philippine crocodiles have been going extinct for a long time uh, because people hunt them for uh, their le leather, for their skin um, and also because of fear. People are afraid of crocodiles so they kill them. Um, besides that, their habitat has also been uh, declining um, and that is at this time the most uh, important threat to the Philippine crocodiles that the place where they live is being uh, encroached by people um, the place where they nest and where hatchlings raise uh, are often small ponds and they are being converted into rice paddies um, or being drained for, for cornfields or other agricultural purposes. So the area where they can live is getting smaller and that's the main threat at this time uh, for Philippine crocodiles. We collect hatchling crocodiles from the wild. When they just come out of the egg we collect them and we raise them in captivity for 18 to 24 months. Um, after that they are a bit bigger, they are half a meter long already and they are much stronger and this gives them a much bigger chance to survive in the wild and reproduce when they are adults. We have had many researches, um, student researches uh, assisted by, uh, by Ocean Park. So there are students from uh, development communication, making information materials, we had a researcher from the Netherlands, a student, who did a study to antibodies of crocodile saliva. All these kind of researches are, are ongoing. The Ocean Park started uh, sponsoring us in 2008 uh, with a project mainly on telemetry. This was a research pro project mainly and we tagged some crocodiles with transmitters to be able to follow them around. Where do they go? Where do they live? How big is the area they live in? Um, in Divila Khan there's a lake, Bikatian Lake, uh, where Philippine crocodiles used to live, went locally extinct, and so we reintroduced 50 captive bred crocodiles in a lake in Divila Khan, right there. Um, and released in the lake, and we follow them for three to six months, that's the time the batteries last. Uh, then we had some additional transmitters that we attached after that period with the same crocodiles or with new crocodiles. But after one year all the transmitters were uh, empty, the battery was empty, so we could not follow them anymore. So we go there to see how many crocodiles are there. observation tower where we can uh, look over the lake for crocodiles and we have a campsite a bit further on. Yes, if you shine your flashlight you can really see very good reflection. You can just see like someone's uh, smoking a cigarette. Be careful, be careful. Be careful. <laughs> yes, okay. Uh, the crocodile's eye reflects red but it only reflects if you shine it exactly uh, in the eyes but if you look over the beam so at this time if you can see 
I'm looking over the beam, yeah? If I turn the flashlight, I'm looking exactly, my eye is at the same level as my flashlight. If I do like this, I will not see the crocodile anymore, because the reflection will come to the flashlight and not to my eyes, so I will not see the crocodile. So always look from the height of your eyes. It could still be that they are hiding, the weather was not uh, perfect. Um, so we'll see tomorrow, we'll, we'll talk to people who live in the area, if they have seen any crocodiles recently. And hopefully they can tell us uh, better places to survey tomorrow night. Let us not keep the children from their education. <laughs> very extensive uh, SEPA campaign we call it, communication, education and public awareness, trying to make people aware that this is a species that's not very dangerous for people, it does not attack until it is uh, provoked, and so people don't have to be afraid of this crocodile. Uh, this is a very important point only, to make people aware that uh, they don't have to kill the crocodiles out of fear because they're not dangerous. Last week? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so this is the place where they saw a crocodile last Sunday. Uh, the Manung Miling, he said that they were fishing in the lake uh, at night and they saw a crocodile eat a water bird. Very difficult to see here. Uh, note down our position exact coordinates and then later we can see on a map exactly where this place is you know what's the name of this lake pond J no no name the leech here the leech you yeah he no, but I'm still still okay yes I don't almost don't expect to find any crocodiles anymore because we have heard so many people say that there's no more crocodiles in this lake. So it will still be disappointing, but I am expecting it already. Still hope that we can find some because I think uh, no one has done night survey here for a long time. So could be. Why? Why only We did not find any crocodiles. There's probably one, and that's the only one so far that we know of. If anyone knows where the crocodiles have gone to, then please let us know. Bring some home for yourselves and for the other uh, households. Um, so I think uh, because the barangay captain is out, uh, I can give the uh, reward to the first Kagawa or the Kagawas in general. I don't know what's the so for the Barangay Fund, I'm sure you can find something uh, to do with this amount. Tonight we'll try again to see if we can see it. of how to do with that because if there is a crocodile and you cannot find it. Yeah. 
现在五点五十，看看我们的鱼发生了什么。人放活动，鱼还在，连生物都没有，只能证明。可能在河里真的没有鳄鱼了吧？大大鱼都没有，什么鱼都没有。这个是